and um, it's good to see some familiar faces and I'd like to add my welcome to that from Lyndon this morning. And of course being here, reiterate, of course we all know farming matters. As Minister for the Environment, I'm delighted to be involved in this my first conference, as I think yeah, I have sat in those seats before though. My Assistant Minister Gregory Gino is also here and I are fully committed to securing improvements to environmental policy and practice in Jersey and to together we'll be making sure these environmental issues are right high on the political agenda. Unfortunately there's very growing public recognition that environment provides wide public benefits and that Jersey's sense of place needs to be conserved. And this is of course reflected in your adoption and our adoption together of the leaf mark accreditation in the rural economy strategy. This progressive approach to rural funding is a model which I think we'll see emerging elsewhere. <coughs> now you've heard this morning, and I'm sorry it wasn't with you, many excellent presentations, and this conference gives us an opportunity to focus on important subjects like environmental and economic sustainability, <coughs> protection of natural resources and capital, and diversification of farming effort, and most importantly, how we can all best work together. Obviously, though, as Minister of the Environment, my bias is bound to be environmental rather than economic. But my message is that a sustainable working rural economy is achievable if we work together and employ all the tools at our disposals, including some of the ideas and options discussed today. And this is a list of some of the issues facing our rural and natural environments. <coughs> and I'd like to comment just on a couple of those very briefly. Firstly, I want to record my sincere thanks to the Hornet Hunters and Jersey Pig Keepers Association for their hard work into searching down Hornet nests for destruction. And this is a manpower intensive activity that our natural environments team simply doesn't have after budget cuts. And it highlights the need for dedicated resupport support the invasive species and biosecurity team. And we face threats in biodiversity, economic and human health terms, and action to take on these invasive species need to be prioritised. For example, Japanese knotweed, oak processionary moth, mosquitoes, pampas grass, marine invasives, and of course the hornet itself. And if these non-invasive species are not tackled, sorry, these invasive non-native species are not tackled, they will be causing us severe problems for decades. And in 2019, the Natural Environment Team will continue their work developing a strategy to do so. And then we have the protection of soil and water from diffuse pollution. And that remains a critical issue for Jersey. As does the protection of the soil itself from runoff and exhaustion and maintenance of soil quality. And here, I want to, I want to be continuing the progress that Steve Luce made as his time as Minister and I want to really acknowledge that great work and support the work of the Action for Cleaner Water Group. It's an example of industry and government working together and achieving really good outcomes. So I applaud everything that the industry has done in that work and I'll do my best to make sure it continues and support it. Together, the Rural Economy Strategy, the Action for Cleaner Water Group, the Rural Initiative Scheme and the Countryside Enhancement Scheme, Enhancement Scheme help re deliver reductions in fertiliser application rates. And again, this work is continuing next year into next year. But of course, everything comes down to resources. Unfortunately, there's no slack in the system at the moment at all in terms of staff and budgets. The environment team have suffered significant underinvestment from with budgeting and staffing cuts over year on year successive financial plans, something I hope to try and put a stop to and reverse. New challenges such as Brexit, a new EU plant health regulation and a new wildlife law will take up enormous amounts of officer time on top of business as usual activities. But they will be delivered ensuring that you as an industry are best prepared for the future. And here, I want to say we are fortunate, despite the current turmoil of the state's reorganisation at the moment, of the quality, we're fortunate for the quality of the civil servants we have. 
And in my view, we have to make sure those valuable civil servants with their expertise, they are looked after. <coughs> so I'm committed to make sure that we have a team that is in our one government that is capable of delivering what we need it to on behalf of you and the industry, on behalf of the public, on behalf of Jersey's very special, beautiful uh, island environment. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy the rest of the conference, and hopefully you'll answer a few questions a bit later on.